everyone, it's Jess and welcome to Sound Mind Adventures. Well, here in California, the weather is looking nice. Don't believe it's gonna rain and I don't believe it's gonna be too windy out here in the desert. So today I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna try to attempt motorcycle camping. I have about six liters of water here between this, my water bladder, and I have the rig gear, waterproof, soft luggage that I'm trying out. I don't know what to expect because I'll be doing wild camping out in the desert so I don't know how easy it will be to access the camping spot that I have in mind. So come along for the ride and let's find some adventure. Expecting a little bit of loose sand up here uh, which you know we'll deal with when we get there. Where I want to go. It honestly does not look that bad. It's all good. It's all good. We're okay. This was a major fail on my part. I should have known better. Um, I couldn't pick up my bike. I tried for a long time. I unloaded it. I picked it up before. I don't know why I can't do it right now. I'm in loose, I'm in a big sand pit, so it makes it really hard to pick up. I unloaded everything. Having a full tank of gas obviously does not help. And uh, I gave up and I called for help. So I feel, you know, pretty bad right now because I can't pick up my bike. And I had to inconvenience somebody from work to come get me. Or at least to help me pick it up so I can ride out of here. There's not going to be any camping. Regardless, there's not going to be any camping. I'm just entirely too upset right now. Is this adventure? <laughs> not really. Not when you can't figure it out yourself. Not happy right now. All right, everybody. So, got the bike upright, and I actually had to call for help. I just, uh, I couldn't get it up. And, uh, I feel really embarrassed and ashamed that I couldn't do that. So, um, yeah, I had to call for help. As you can see, my help is over there. Now I gotta try and get out of here. I'm not going to lie, I've lost all motivation for camping right now. Um, I have no desire to camp at the moment. I'm going home. So, so. Alright, 
so ladies and gentlemen this was the adventure that wasn't an adventure I guess um, things don't always go you know as we hope they will um, I learned definitely some lessons I'm gonna try not to let this get me down the reason that I went out there is because the campgrounds that I like to go to um, that are out here on BLM land are not open right now and so you know I decided hey I'm gonna try you know these cool campsites that I found out in the desert and give that a go and I honestly I, I thought that I was aware of um, the sketchy parts and I thought I would already got beyond the sketchy parts but apparently um, I, I didn't um, the thing about the desert is that it changes constantly the landscape um, we haven't had any rain out here so the ground is extremely loose right now uh, usually when we have some good rains it, it changes the nature of the riding surface I just got in a little bit over my head and you know I'm really disappointed I was really looking forward to spending some time out in nature and you know that this sort of thing wouldn't happen I was worried about it in the back of my mind because I I'm not super good in off-road conditions and apparently I'm not very good at picking my bike up out of loose sand um, I felt like I was in a sand pit and I just couldn't get out of it um, my feet kept slipping and I normally have those hard side cases on the bike so it doesn't fall quite as far down so it's a tad easier to pick up if I drop it um, I changed to soft luggage for safety reasons after a few hours of trying to pick this thing up yeah just not being able to get a good grip on it and, and uh, a good foothold um, I just gave up and I left and picked up the phone thank God I had a cell phone signal uh, I was carrying my Garmin inReach just in case so I was able to send my grid coordinates to somebody to pick me up and uh, you know at least the bike wasn't disabled I guess I got to research my camping locations a little bit better and you know I think if I would have been with somebody it would have turned out completely different all right everybody I'm gonna sign off for now again I'm sorry I didn't bring you a fun moto camping video instead I I brought you kind of a you know a, a disaster <laughs> So uh, we'll try it again at some other time, and um, I hope to share that adventure with you. So, all right, everybody, take care. I'll see you in the next video.